So with just a bit of information before Dave I start here, and in this Warhammer 40,000 build, build, I am building a plague burst, burst crawler, crawler like from sections, paint it, the Death Guard army, the that lovely, so that's going to have lovely be tank okay? there. As well as well, let's do this. Leave the time lasting. So, a plague burst crawler is a demon engine used by the Death Guard Traitor Legion as a mobile artillery piece to provide combat support to Death Guard Plague Marines infantry assaults. Its primary weapon is a Plague Burst Mortar that combines high radius explosives with lethal demonic spore clouds that can eat through almost any known form of protection. The Demon Engine's only real drawback is that it is unable to unleash this weapon on targets that are closer than its minimum range. The role of the demon Primark, or Tyrant himself, perfected the design for the first Plague Burst Crawler as a labour of pure spite. The Death Lord sought to create a super mobile artillery piece that would outclass any comparative Imperial weapon, and thus demonstrates the Death Guard's supremacy over their corpse-worshipping former kin. For many solar months, he locked himself away in the smogged reef spires of the Black Maze on the Plague Planet, observing endlessly over his foul brainchild, turning all of his remarkable intellect to the challenge. The result, demon engine, reflect well the value of the nightmare figure that created them. Plague breast crawlers are lumbering, formidable siege tanks, huge, huge ram blades, thick armor plating, and demonic energies provide them incredible resilience. Their fearsome Plague Burst Mortars boast a pathetic firing arc and terrifying range. While the shells they fire combine high radius explosives with lethal clouds of corrupted spores to inflict damage capable to that of Imperial Demolisher Cannons. The drawback of this weapon is its ability to fire at targets that are closer than its minimum range. However, the remainder of the crawler's weaponry is intended to slaughter the foe up close, splaying the slime and hails of vile shells at any who approach. Matorian's decision to make these vehicles demon engines says much for his contempt for all living things. Live crew, even Death Guard heretic Astartes, might be injured or slain, or suffer an all too human of judgment in battle by comparison. Though great effort is required to bind a demon within each plague buster crawler, once installed, the proper entities tirelessly obey their masters, and by extension, the will of Mortarian. Plague buster crawlers are not swift vehicles, even running at full power. Yet their advance is as grinding and relentless as the Death Guard themselves. Intended to support infantry offensive, plague burst crawlers prowl forward like huge mechanical slugs. The mortars firing with metallic regularity, shell after shell whistles down to explode amongst the enemy ranks. Every shot spreads billowing clouds of lethal smalls among shock waves of fire and shrapnel. An area under sustained bombardment from these weapons becomes so saturated with foul spore clouds that is immediately and inappropriately inhospitable to all life. Armour provides scout protection for the demonic spores, chewful, velictica grills, and environmental seals, 
clothed in the thickest adamantium plating, and wear through concrete and rockcrete, layer by layer, until they spill into even the deepest and most well-protected bunkers. Those hideous effects have made the plague us a crawler a much hated weapon of war. Enemies strive to destroy them at any cost, while even the demons of Nurgle look at them askew. After all, the plague buster crawler strike, there can be no circle of rebirth, no matter how foul, for its victims there is only everlasting death. The plague buster mortar is the primary weapon of the plague buster crawler, the demon engine provide support to the death guard. It is in all thoughts a massive cannon that's able to fire the corrosive explosive shells far across the battlefield bringing death Corrosion and mutation to Motarian's enemies. So despised by not only the Imperium, but fellow worshippers of chaos, that they see the plague burst crawler as an insult. While Nurgle himself laughs and takes joy in the corrosion and the helplessness of those who become under its fire. On the tabletop, the plague burst mortar has a range from 12 inches to 48 inches. It is a heavy weapon with D6 attacks. Strength of 8, an AP of minus 2, and a damage of D3. It is also a plague weapon, which means this weapon can re-roll ones. Yes, re-roll ones to hit. It can also target units that are not visible to the model. So you cannot hide out of line of sight. The rest of the Plague Buster Crawler's characteristics are as such. When at full health, movement is 9 inches. Ballistic skill is 7, and normal strength is 7. Has a weapon skill of 6, always. A toughness of 8, always. 12 wounds, 3 attacks, a leadership of 8, and a normal save of plus 3. Also has a 5 plus invulnerable save, as well as being disgustingly resilient. Disgustingly resilient. Basically, if you fail a saving throw, you get another throw of a 5 up to ignore that wound, whether it be mortal or otherwise. The Playbrush Squaw Crawler also explodes. If this model is reduced to 0 wounds, roll a d6 before removing it from battlefield. On a 5 plus, it explodes and each unit within 6 inches suffers D3 mortal wounds. It's a fun little model. And there it is, all built and ready to go. The Plague Bus Crawler from the Death Guard. This foul bringer of disease and death is ready to launch its shells into the enemies of the death guard i do hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment rate 
and subscribe for more. Until the next one, this is Dave, death to the false emperor.